Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for all things business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today is a very special episode. Today I brought back uh, Mr. Tom Wiggins on the line, and he has um, just now released a new book with us, so it's the Business Leaders Edition of Money Matters on Volume 3, which just hit number one on the um, Amazon Hot New Release list. And also, this is uh, Tom's, as I mentioned, a second book with us, um, so I'm gonna, we're going to get into this one, but first I just want to say, Tom, welcome back to the show. Thanks very much, Adam. Glad to be back. We had fun the first time. We're going to have fun the second time. Man, so exciting to get into this one with you. So your first chapter, I mean, you knocked it out of the park in our last book. So that one was Leadership, as easy as 1, 2, 3, and ABC. Um, and now your follow-up, McLaren Memories, Manifesting to Move Forward. Um, when I read that, I was like, uh, and you remember, you submitted both and said, Adam, which one do you want to choose from? And I said, I want them both, but we got to wait for the second one for our next book. <laughs> and, I, and that's the first time that's happened, so I'm excited to have you in here. Um, that being said, uh, let's just kind of start from the basics. So what was the inspiration for this chapter? Uh, well, the inspiration, the first book, I, I mean, I was excited about both of them, but as you know, I, I had not been an author before. So I wrote two and kind of threw it out to you and said, you know, pick. And you, you gave me the best answer possible, which is I'm not going to pick. You get both. So I got that twofer, and, you know, we went with leadership, and that made sense, and that was kind of – you know, uh, more of a commercial thing, but now I wanted to go with something that was more of a personal thing and go from leadership, you know, to something very personal, manifestation. And so that was the inspiration. To, now, now why don't I, you know, step back from leadership roles that I may have had in businesses and organizations to something that's more personal inside me. And that was sort of the genesis of what became um, McLaren Memories. So in in your in the story you talk about and and to the listeners we're not going to have time to go through the whole story but we do yeah. that on purpose so that why so that you'll buy so that you'll buy the book that's why we do it <laughs> so exactly. definitely want you to definitely want you to go out there and pick up a copy but um, in your in your chapter you talk about um, having this model of a car let let's start there so start from there please tell us a little bit more about that sure I'm going to jump back even a little bit further than that to the late 1960s when I was a little kid and I joined my first car club, which was the Hot Wheels Car Club. You have to fast forward from the 60s to the 90s to when I had a fascination, fascination with my dream car, which was the McLaren, the F1 that came out in the 90s. And a very expensive car, about a million dollars plus. So I bought a detailed metal model of that McLaren that I had in my living room, and that became sort of my icon for manifestation, and that was the genesis of of this chapter. Wow. Um, so let's go a little bit further because you do actually get into <laughs> you actually get into this McLaren. And I, as I'm as I'm reading your writing, I'm thinking to myself, man, I really want to drive a McLaren, Tom. <laughs> I <laughs> highly <laughs> recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. We're gonna have to sell some more books before I get into McLaren, though. <laughs> yep. So let's get a little bit further. Hmm? Yeah, so, so I, I had this vision, you know, that someday, some way, I'm going to drive a McLaren. I didn't know how the pieces would fall into place. I didn't know, you know, what what the pathway would be for that. But I had that. I looked at it every day. I, I knew it was completely different than my background for decades in consulting and wealth management, securities trading, things that had nothing to do, uh, you know, with with this dream that I had. And then. You know, through the book, I go through a little bit of the history of the ebb and flow of the economy and the Great Recession. I had no idea of where we'd be now in the year CV-19, which is what I refer to this year as, uh, for, for COVID-19. But all of these big changes uh, throughout everything was always this underlying, someday, some way, I'm going to drive that McLaren. And it was just a, at a later point when I was working with a personal growth coach that we became to, uh, we became sort of more clear and intentional on how I can manifest and make that happen. Let's talk about, um, I want to spend a little bit more time on the manifesting part. So sure. um, I know, I know like the, uh, 
and the, or the visualizing part, I should say. So I know you mentioned in the book about, like, getting in your car and imagining that. I mean, tell us more about that one. Sure, absolutely. I mean, that was that was an actual experience that I had with her. I mean, uh, I don't want to go too much into the details of it because, like you said, I want folks to buy the book and read read the whole process. Uh, but, yeah, I needed to, to make that concrete, to take it from – the dream. I mean, you have to have a dream. Everything starts with a dream. But I mean, how do you make that dream to become a reality? And in working with her and working through a process, which I detail in the in the book, um, you know, I was able to translate that dream into reality. And a lot of it had to tap, had to do with kind of tapping in to past positives. And 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 I go into in the story about past personal ad- adventures that I had uh, that were automotive related. And then later in my post-financial world, uh, when I became a test driver, uh, I go into some of my favorite professional experiences, and I detail those. Um, and then I go back to things that I had picked up along the way. Uh, with, if you remember the very popular book and video, The Secret, that was all the rage back in the day, you know that was part of what was uh, in the mix for how I was manifesting. And things going back as far as a hundred years ago uh, with a memorandum from the Office of the Judge Advocate General for the U.S. Navy Department uh, about this or something better, uh, which is a phrase that later became kind of co-opted in personal growth. But all of these things were sort of in my mix, uh, stirring the pot for how am I going to create or take a dream and make that from just something in my head to something concrete. So when I when I read this, I was like, man, not only did I did you drive um, a McLaren, but uh, I would log. I'll, I'll just read it straight from there. I would log sure. over five thousand miles in the car. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Well, the thing about that, I recently had, um, oh, I forget who it was, but somebody reached out to me about McLarens and 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 driving them uh, just in the last few days, and and I said, well. You know, the best part is not only did I manifest the ability to drive it, I didn't make car payments, I didn't have insurance, <laughs> I didn't have maintenance, and they paid me to do it. So, yeah, wait a minute. You know, it's like, this is, this is way better. And also, if you look at the typical driver of a supercar, they keep it, you know, on an epoxied floor in their garage, take it out. Yeah, they might not even coffee. have 5,000 miles on it. Yeah, I was thinking about that, they, too, oh, like... Yeah, you know, they're they're putting 100 miles on on a weekend to to show it off to their buddies and then putting it back under a car cover. So to to log 5,000 <laughs> miles on it, that is just like it was an example of how you can dream for something and if you're lucky your dream is going to even exceed that dream and be even better. Wow, that's absolutely amazing. I love it. I mean, and that's when I when I read that, I thought about that. And I'm like, I bet you there's like people that own McLarens that haven't driven them 5,000 miles. Bet you. And um, and you just you just validated it. it's like on a box. Well, and and as a as a side note, right when that the particular McLaren that I was test driving for mm-hmm. uh, came into the United States, and I was driving the only singular pro- prototype in the United States at that wow. time. Wow. Um, right after it became available, I looked up, gee, how much could I rent one for? It was so much fun. And it was seventeen hundred dollars a day to rent one. I'm like, hmm, okay, get paid to do it or pay seventeen hundred dollars to do it. Uh, door get number one, do please. It. You know, I'll take yes, it getting sir. paid. Oh man, that's awesome. Well, Tom, um, that being said, I just wanted to again congratulate you. It's been a pleasure having you back on the show. Uh, it was an honor to publish you not once but twice. Loved your writing and uh, definitely enjoyed. I know our readers are going to get a lot of value out of this. Um, that being said, if somebody wants to follow up and they want to connect with you on your writing or anything else, I mean, what's the best way for our listeners to do that? I would say, well, first of all, I need to say a brief thank you to Mission Matters Media, not only for the second book hitting number one in Amazon's hot new releases, but being top ten in a couple of other categories. This is another dream that was beyond. Uh, that could be another story about how I visioned all of this to happen. But, yeah, thank you so much to Mission Matters Media. But to follow me, uh, probably the easiest way would be on LinkedIn, LinkedIn slash in slash Tom Wiggins, or uh, on Amazon, Amazon.com slash author slash Tom dash Wiggins. It's all under case uh, for Amazon. They're very case sensitive. So it's Amazon.com slash author slash Tom dash Wiggins.
Fantastic. Well, hey, Tom, appreciate you coming back on the show. And uh, to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Um, I hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget, subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Business, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments on the video. I mean, love to know uh, what kind of projects and things you're working on also, too. So let's uh, take the conversation over to the YouTube community. And uh, Tom, thanks again for coming on.